So it's been a lot going on. And lately, the latest news is that Khabib turned down a $15 million rematch with Conor McGregor. The reason why is because it wasn't a fight for it to be a rematch. It was just literally an ass whooping. So he won decisively. And just to revisit that, just to hear the trash talk again, is probably something he doesn't want to do. But he wants a Tony Ferguson fight. Tony Ferguson was the guy who was holding the belt before Khabib took the belt. Not by fighting him, but because that fight got canceled again for the fourth time so Khabib want to get that fight out the way and after that he stated he want to retire now that's a great fight and that's what we all want to see but there's also the Floyd Mayweather fight on the table for Khabib at this point so Khabib has a lot of options on the table which is always a great thing but the UFC is telling him not to hurry and make a decision which is funny because how y'all gonna tell a man not to hurry and make a decision and offer him a rematch for 15 million. Meanwhile, y'all haven't gave him the purse for his first fight yet. Why would he want a rematch and y'all haven't gave him his money yet? So can you blame Khabib now? They referring to making a decision and signing with 50 and the MMA deal on the zone, I believe. 50 offered him 2 million, but Khabib uncle came out and stated that they won't take less than five million for any fight because even uh, the Tony Ferguson fight, they will at least get five million. So basically, they tell him fifty, hey, we will actually consider your offer as long as you offer us more money, and they're willing to negotiate. Also, if Khabib leaves the UFC because the UFC tried to fire his friend who hit Conor McGregor. Khabib already threatened that he will leave as well. And if that happens, Khabib stated that 15 other people will leave with him. And they are big names. And possibly sign with 50 Cent. So you know where this is heading. Now, if that takes place, UFC is no longer a monopoly. And I don't know if the UFC want to do that. So hopefully the UFC start treating all fighters equal. And if you're a person of color, they don't have a disdain towards you, a.k.a. Dana White and Woodley. But tell them, subscribe below if you're trying to get smarter by the minute. If you're trying to get dumb about a second, don't listen to these casual-ass fans. And if you're a chill one, click on the notification bell to get notified every time we post. But how this might play out is that could be my fight. Floyd Mayweather next, believe it or not, in the ring, which is, I know, it's not the right fight, but hey, money talk. Then maybe after losing that fight, he'd probably go and fight Tony Ferguson in the MMA or in the UFC, I meant, and retire, which is sound like a good plan because you get to submit your legacy and you get to make a whole lot of money. Peace.